My dad is a pastor and my mom was a stay-at-home mom. They didn't have like too much money to give to us for college. I really did not feel worthy. I repeatedly heard phrases like, you don't belong, you're unintelligent. Those are kind of the ones I had a lot in my head. I just remember sitting there on the bleachers as a kid and being so in awe of watching the students ride. And I was just like, oh man, I want to work with animals. That's going to be me someday. Growing up, I just didn't see too many people who looked like me kind of going and being doctors or engineers or astronauts. I considered the military. I was very, very adventurous. So I wanted to enlist when I was actually 17 years old. But my mom, she she thought it was a phase and she really didn't want me to go to the military. So she, she actually applied to colleges for me. I did a little research and I found that Cal Poly Pomona was one of the better schools that I got accepted to. So I ended up coming here. I am a visual learner. To be able to apply what you learn in class and do it with your hands was so important to me. I'm really grateful for that polytechnic learned by doing here at Cal Poly Pomona. I realized I was queer probably when I was 12 or 13 years old in middle school. I wasn't really able to come out until when I got to Cal Poly Pomona. I was a science, technology, and society major. And then learning that I actually had a passion for communicating, organizing, building community. Going into my fourth year, I switched to communication. That was where I actually found a calling. I really was kind of lost coming in my freshman year. Benny was the undeclared academic advisor. I just remember there's a sheet on his wall with all the majors, and the first one starts with the A was aerospace engineering. And I remember that really caught my attention. He was like the first one who really inspired me and made me believe that I can do more than what I had already kind of set for myself in my mind. I got straight A's, I was on the Dean's List, the President's Honor Roll my first year, but unfortunately, I lost my financial aid. When I dropped out of school for that year, that was really, really discouraging for me. I didn't know what the Veterans Resource Center was, but I knew it was a place where I can kind of talk to somebody. They really encouraged me that I can go the officer route and get my bachelor's degree. So they gave me the number for an officer recruiter. I called her that day and she explained to me, I can get a guaranteed spot at flight school. It was just like a dream come true. They really care about my success and my learning because they know that it's going to translate into what I'll do later on. I applied for an internship at the San Diego Zoo for wildlife care. I was a fit for the zoo because of my passion for animals. Working hands-on with our animals at Cal Poly Pomona gave me a prime experience that I can now apply. I'm excited to see where I'll go within this organization. The belief in myself really evolved at Cal Poly Pomona. In November, I applied for the National Alliance on Mental Illness. Zane Landon represents NAMI's Next Gen Group. This is an advisory group representing voices of young adults nationwide. I've become a stronger advocate. I was here at the White House. I was accepted through the Mental Health Youth Action Forum, which was planned by MTV and collaborated with the White House and several nonprofits. It's a huge honor. Graduating was like an incredible moment for me. It was really great for everyone to be there and, you know, hear them cheering for me, seeing them smiling. At this point, I think anything's possible. Lauren, Eliana, and Zane, and the thousands of Broncos who share stories like theirs are why we exist to help anyone who dreams of success achieve it. Combine their drive and tenacity with our experiential learning and culture of care, and together we profoundly impact countless communities, entire industries, and millions of lives. All of this is what makes Cal Poly Pomona the most diverse, Polytechnic University in the nation, and the number one for social and economic mobility. Join us in transforming lives for generations to come.